This is Marilyn Lohman, Service Hydrologist at WFO Pendleton. Thanks for joining me and we'll be looking ahead at the current snowpack conditions and expected water supply for the coming spring and summer. This is a map of measurements of the snow water equivalent or amount of water being held in the snowpack as of early April 2018 for the various basins across the state of Washington. From this map produced by the Natural Resource Conservation Service, we can see that amounts were near 100% of normal in the upper and lower Yakima basins. The lower Snake Basin was showing 124% of normal, and within this basin, the Walla Walla Basin has increased again this past month to near 100% of normal. We'll look at some individual stations across the area. These charts show the snow water equivalent or water held in the snow for the water year October through September. The blue line is the maximum observed while the red line the minimum. Green line is the average. Using these charts we can see how the snow water equivalent accumulates through the winter and spring and compare it to average. The Tushi snow tail site is in the Walla Walla Basin around 5,500 feet. Looking at the black line, we can see that the snowpack increased steadily during March and is slightly below normal. The Sassy Ridge Snowtail Site is located in the upper Yakima Basin at 4,200 feet. Looking at the black line, we can see that this location saw good accumulation throughout the month and is near normal. The Bumping Ridge Snowtail Site is at 4,600 feet in the central Washington Cascades. Looking at the black line, this site also saw good accumulation and is near normal. Looking at the snow water equivalent map from the Natural Resource Conservation Service for Oregon, as of early April, there were some improvements across the state. Amounts increased from 58 to 65 percent of normal in the Deschutes and Cricket Basins, remained nearly steady around 55 percent of normal in the John Day Basin. In the Umatilla Basin, amounts increased from 77 to 91 percent of normal and increased from 72 to 87 percent of normal for the Grand Ronde Basin. We'll look at some individual sites across the region. For the northern Cascades of Oregon, Red Hill Snowtail is at an elevation of 4,400 feet. Looking at the black line, the current year observation, this site saw a fairly steady accumulation through March and is slightly below normal. In the upper Deschutes Basin, the Three Creek Meadows Snowtail site is at about 5,600 feet. Looking at the solid black line, we can see that this location remained nearly steady through March and is well below normal. Slightly higher than the minimum observed for this time of year. For the John Day Basin, we can look at the Blue Mountain Springs site at 5,900 feet. There were some small increases during the last half of the month, but the snow amounts remained well below normal and are near the minimum observed for this location. For the Umatilla Basin in the Blue Mountains, we can look at the High Ridge site at 4,900 feet. Looking at the black line, we can see that this site saw increases through much of the month and is near normal. In the Grand Ronde Basin, the Moss Springs Snowtail site at 5,800 feet. Looking at the black line, this site saw increases throughout the month and is also near normal. The Northwest River Forecast Center uses Ensemble Streamflow Prediction, or ESP, generated forecasts as the official water supply method. The 30-year runoff normals covering the years 1981 to 2010 are being used. New ESP forecasts will be published on the Northwest River Forecast Center's website daily. For updated forecasts and more information on the ESP forecasts, please see the River Forecast Center's website at the address given. This map from the Northwest River Forecast Center shows a snapshot of the water supply forecast for the coming season. As of early April 2018, water supply for the Pacific Northwest ranges from above normal conditions over much of Idaho and portions of Washington to near normal over most of Oregon, with well below normal conditions for Southeast Oregon. We'll look at several stations within the area for a more detailed look. For the Yakima River system, we'll look at the Yakima River near Parker. 
Looking at the plot, the solid green line is the 30-year normal. These plots show the entire range of forecast values with the blue dot the 50th percentile or most likely value. We'll be using that 50th percentile and comparing it to normal. The volume forecast for the Yakima River near Parker for the period April through September is expected to be about 115 percent of normal. The forecast of volume of water, the blue dot, for the Grand Ron near Troy has increased to around 100 percent of normal. This value has increased from around 90 percent of normal seen back in February. These forecasts take into account the expected precipitation for the next 10 days, then normal precipitation throughout the rest of the period. For the Umatilla River at Pendleton for the period April through September, the forecast volume has increased again to around 105 percent of normal. Once again, these forecasts take into account the current 10-day forecast and then normal precipitation through the rest of the season. The Columbia River at the Dalles is an indicator for the entire Columbia Basin. Once again, we're looking at the average value plotted in green with the most likely value, the blue dot. The volume for the April through September period continues to edge higher than last month with an average value of 119 percent of normal. These previous seen plots and additional water supply locations are available in an interactive form on the Northwest River Forecast Center's website at the address listed on the concluding slide. The three-month outlook from the Climate Prediction Center for April, May, and June shows equal chances of above, below, or normal temperatures across the area, with equal chances of above, below, or normal precipitation over much of Washington, trending to below normal precipitation over Oregon. Here is the web address of the Northwest River Forecast Center's website where you can get additional and updated water supply forecasts. Join me again in May as we continue to look at the snowpack and water supply conditions. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please contact me by email or phone. Thank you.